Hey everybody, you probably know what this is. Arduino is a great open source design environment and it's very powerful, but I don't really use it that much. Now I started programming microchip microcontrollers before Arduino came out, so I kind of stuck with microchip. Now one of the reasons why I stuck with microchip is because it forced me to do all the programming myself and I really learned how the interfacing hardware works. As opposed to Arduino, a lot of these sketches and libraries are pre-written. Although with Arduino, you can make it as complicated as you want and, and program everything yourself. Now maybe about 10 years ago or more, I actually purchased a bunch of 28-pin project boards. Now these 28-pin project boards are specifically for microchip. Now these boards were on clearance and they were discontinued and they no longer sell them. I got them for about $1.50 a piece and so I purchased a bunch of them and here's the website www.dipmicro.com. You can check out their site but they probably don't have these anymore. Now instead of using uh, breadboards like this, I made my own uh, development board using the project boards that I purchased. This one has the port for the ICSP, which is the uh, in-circuit uh, serial programming. It has an external uh, crystal, master reset switch, and some LEDs. I also incorporated some female headers. There's a couple of 28-pin um, microchips that I use. This one is a PIC16F876. It's an older one, but I have a number of the uh, chips, and this development board is compatible with it. Another 28-pin chip that I use is the PIC 18F2550. That actually has uh, more program space, and this development board is compatible with that uh, microcontroller as well. I also made another development board that does not have an external clock. This one is made specifically for my PIC 18F2550 microcontrollers to use the internal clock. I also rewired one of these boards to work with a PIC 12F683. This is one of my favorite chips and I rewired it to work with in-circuit serial programming. Here's the rewiring. Now during development, if I need a display, it just has one serial line with power and ground. This one's actually made by Parallax. I'm using the Emmy Labs U2 programmer to program my microchip microcontrollers. It supports currently up to 40 pin DIP and it also supports in-circuit serial programming. It connects via USB to your computer as well. I also made this cable that interfaces with the U2 programmer for in-circuit serial programming. So regarding in-circuit serial programming, this is a schematic diagram of a 28 pin microchip and pins 24 27 and 28, they are utilized for in-circuit serial programming, but these pins are also functional I.O. So if you have any hardware connected to your microchip on these pins, it may interfere with programming and the functioning of your circuit if your programmer is connected. So I created a special cable that will switch between the programmer or your circuit on these three pins so as not to interfere with programming or the functioning of your circuit. Here's the special uh, cable that I created. If you utilize the programming pins on the microchip as part of your circuit, so this here connects to the programmer. This switch toggles the connection from the microchip to the programmer or back to the circuit if you're utilizing the program pins. For small prototyping, I use breadboards like this. Thanks for watching and have a great day.